And a guy who in his junior season has been the best player and probably a first team all conference player, as you mentioned, Dave, this year. Starting to get help to his feet. Well, maybe the best player in a decade at Wyoming mm. and the future of the franchise. Well, that's not, not a good sign. Not putting any weight at all on that right leg. I think it's really important what they've done here. Make sure he's not putting weight on it. Sit down and get it evaluated. I'm sure there's a team doctor will be there quickly. All right, so what do they do? They bring in the ball game number 15, Granberry, who ends up being an undersized post player with a big body. So Nance out at the 1451 mark. And he's done everything so far tonight. What's that mean? Graybo has to step up here. Here's Graybo. Shot clock moves to 10. Sobe from the free throw line. Foul is whistled on Tyler Johnson. Cardinal sin, don't foul a shooter. Especially don't foul a jump shooter, and don't foul a jump shooter who's taking a bad shot. He was drifting to his left. Hand up, don't put him to the line where you can't guard him. Second foul on Tyler Johnson. Sobe at 68% from the line this year, sinks the first. Well, it's a good thing Sobe has stepped up. He's having probably his best game of the season from an offensive standpoint. Been perfect from the line with a dozen points. And adds to that. Nine point edge for Wyoming. Still working on Larry Nance. And the Cowboys were up seven when Nance went out. Johnson. He's into double figure scoring, 11 points. A quietly good player. He doesn't force the issue, he lets the game come his way. And he's always better in the second half of the game. With that bucket, Johnson has now passed Ron Anderson for 22nd place on the all-time scoring list at Fresno State. Johnson keeps his scoring pace up. He could finish his career about 17th overall in scoring history for the Bulldogs. Out of bounds, just lost a handle on it. And it's Fresno State ball. Hey, remember, fans, that buzz driving is drunk driving. If you've been drinking, use a designated driver or call for a cab. Don't drink and drive. Paid for by the Federal Highway Safety Funds. This is the fourth Wyoming turnover. Here we have two teams that have both done a great job taking care of the basketball all season long. Efficient in that respect. They don't waste possessions for the most part. What I say is when you turn the ball over, it doesn't show up in the box score this way, Mark, but that's 0% you shot in that possession. And the lane spinning win is foul. Marvell Harris, that is, will go to the line. That foul is going to be on Sobe. Well, better on Sobe than on Cook. Because they, with, with Nance out of the lineup, you can't afford to lose Cook to his third foul. Harris, three of four from the line tonight. And with that, May has 10 points. Came in averaging 15. Well, the bulk of their scoring comes with Harris, Guerrero, and Johnson, their three starting perimeter players. All of them need to get between 14 and 18 points for this team to be good. Right now, Guerrero's at four. And 11 for Harris and 11 for Johnson. Cook. And make a move on Edo. Keep it on the perimeter to Adams. Adams trying to drive past Johnson. Some help defense there from Harris. And a three from the corner is long from Grabo. 
Nice touch pass, unselfish play by Sobey. Grabo just couldn't get it in the basket. Grabo 0 for 3 in three-point shooting tonight. And here's a three knocked down by Tyler Johnson. Here come the Bulldogs. A 7-0 run in the last minute and a half. And it's a two-point game. Senior Tyler Johnson for Fresno State. 13, make it 14 points for the senior from Mountain View, California. Hello, my name is Greg Stone, President and General Manager, and I would like to personally welcome you to our new home, Cooney Lexus of Greenwood Village. We hope you enjoy. Experience the most unique automotive buying environment in Colorado. Indulge your senses in the finest automotive showroom. Admire the majestic beauty of the Rocky Mountains from the rooftop patio. Relax and enjoy a movie in our premium theater. Luxury has a new address. Cooney Lexus of Greenwood Village, now open at I-25 in Bellevue. Visit CooneyLexus.com. I'm Beth, and I'm Michelle, and we own the Paper Cottage. It's a stationery and gift store. Yeah. Anything we purchase for the Paper Cottage goes on our ink card. So you can manage your business expenses and access them online instantly with the game-changing app from Ink. We didn't get into business to spend time managing receipts. That's why we have Ink. We like being in business because we like being creative. We like interacting with people. <laughs> so you have time to focus on the things you love. Ink from Chase. So you can. It's just a few steps for tradition, for innovation. A few steps so we can all stay connected and live better lives. And just a few steps for all the Touchstone Energy Cooperative members who got us here. Learn more about the power of your co-op membership at TogetherWeSave.com. Tri-State and the region's Touchstone Energy Cooperatives, providing affordable, reliable power today and for years to come. Mountain West Basketball on Root Sports is brought to you by Big Sky Ford Lincoln. We have a passion for service and making you a customer for life. Visit us at Torrington or at BigSkyFord.net. And remember, fans, seatbelts save lives. Wear your seatbelt every trip, every time. Paid for by the Federal Highway Safety Funds. Let's look at the Buckhorn, one of the establishments downtown Laramie, and that's a bad sight. You see Nance still on his back over behind the Wyoming bench. And coincidentally or not, since he has come out of the game, Fresno State really has picked up the pace and seen their offense kick it into gear. And offense kicks it in gear. What happens? Your defense becomes more intense. If you want to play defense, you got to score a basket once in a while to give yourself energy. Sobe. Shot clock is at seven. Grabo. Here's a three from Nathan Sobe. Well off the right side. Guerrero the run out. We need to get Derek Cook back into the paint sooner to protect the baskets. He didn't get back fast enough, so he wasn't set up defensively. Tough shot for Guerrero, who now has six points, and we are tied at 40 with under 12 minutes to go with bad body language on the part of the Cowboys. Half their minds worried about their teammate Nance. They gotta forget Nance. They gotta find a way to win the game without him. Cook was all alone there on that right mid block. Now he has it out front. When he sets the screens and slips the basket, his teammates have to find him faster. Adams stayed away good. The sophomore from Highlands Ranch makes a big jumper when they needed it. Eight points for Adams, two of nine from the field. Three right corner, long from Johnson. That's a, one of the few times tonight they may have forced one there. And a silly foul by Guerrero. That's his third. I call those frustration fouls. Made a nice move in the paint. Wyoming, though, with a two-point lead. Under 11 minutes to go in Laramie. If you ever need someone to hold you, I will be there. I told you you could do it. I want her to be safe. 
So I taught her what I could and got her a Subaru. Love, it's what makes a Subaru a Subaru. Hey, it's me, your smartphone. Take a look inside. I have got potential, but your data plan is killing me. The solution? Unlimited Cube from Union Wireless with unlimited talk, text, and best of all, data. You heard me. Unlimited high-speed data for only $75 for apps, social networking, movies. The possibilities are unlimited. Unlimited data. Unlimited you. Unlimited me. Unlimited Cube. Only from Union Wireless. Appreciate it, man. I'm a big fan. Me too. That's what goes down to a couple friends of mine. When cold refreshment calls, Coors Light answers. Frost Brewed Coors Light, the world's most refreshing beer. Time now for tonight's game summary. Remember, seatbelts save lives. Wear your seatbelt every trip, every time. Paid for by the Federal Highway Safety Funds. It's a two-point lead. For Wyoming with 10.59 to play. And the, the, really the keynote right now in this game is the one on the bottom. Larry Nance Jr. leaving the game with some kind of knee injury at the 14.51 mark. They were up 38-31 at that point with the Pokes. Since then, Fresno on a 9-4 run came back to tie the game. And right now, Wyoming by two. And obviously, you see Nance there with the towel on his head. You know, Wyoming dealing with a lot of things here. Fresno State on the floor. They've got to focus with that first, Dave, even though they have a lot of concern for their top player. Yeah, no question. Your job is to go out and win the basketball game. Uh, and you've got to forget what's going on with a possible injury front and just play the game. Davis, you know, a clean rebound from Johnson and then a little ways from the ball. Davis has called for his fourth foul. And he got tangled up with Cook. Well, Davis will come out here at the 1046 mark. Here's the rebound. You'll see, Let's see what they're looking like here. They're just a little hip action. You know. Isn't that just called blocking out? That could be a call of play on in my mind. Right, I agree with you. I guarantee you in the Big Ten that's play on. Front end of a one and one hit by Cook, who's just a 48% free throw shooter. Rebound, Tyler Johnson, the lead is three for Wyoming. Johnson in a crowd, passes out. Marvell like, Harris. I like what Giddings is giving with a screener. Look at his big screens. He uses his wide body and helps his Marvell Harris get open, and then he gets a tip opportunity. Almost a third try, not there as it's taken off the floor by Nathan Sobey. See, the Cowboys get 50% of their rebounding from Cook and Nance. Nance is out, so everybody else has got to pitch in now. They got a gang rebound, and Sobey helped out there. Sobey trying to help out offensively, and the foul committed by Marvell Harris. One of the things Sobey did there as well on the drive is he got earned an Emmy as he dropped back quickly there. Maybe a Golden Globe, but the bottom line <laughs> is it's getting into the free throw line. Third on Marvell Harris. Glad right to have you with us from Laramie, along with Dave Bullwinkle. I'm Mark Neely. Fresno State winners are five in a row coming in. Wyoming up by three midway through the second half. As we've said in the open, Fresno State the most, uh, the hottest team in the conference right now. And Wyoming, the surprise team of the conference, something had to give in this contest. The Australian Nathan Sobey doing it from the line tonight for sure. He has 15 total points. And I love the crowd. The crowd's back into it again. I think the crowd's done a great job of helping the team here. Maybe the crowd thinks they have to play the role of Larry Nance. It's a big role to play. Big shoes to fill. And off to Harris. Screen there, set by Giddings, driving Harris foul. Yeah, it looked like Hankerson got him down below beforehand. 
on the baseline. Give it to Cook, his third, number three, Guerrero, in for Fresno State. On this four flat action on the baseline, look for one man to step up and get the ball quickly back to the man in the corner. Well, it went to the good shooter, an offensive foul. Yeah, you can definitely see him push to clear some space. And that is number three on Tyler Johnson. Yeah, no question. You can't play like you're the Heisman Trophy. Eric Curry, the official on that side, had a great look at it. You can use that arm bar to protect the ball, but you start extending it there like, you know, the Heisman Trophy, it's going to be the foul call. <laughs> Larry Scheidt giving us a demonstration there. We have nine team fouls against Fresno State but with the offensive foul. No free throws coming here, but still you have Wyoming that's going to be in the double bonus here. The next Fresno State foul. I'm not sure what these officials are discussing here right now. Who the foul was on, that's easy. It's the guy that committed the offensive foul and shoved his forearm. Unless they saw something underneath that happened before. Yeah, that could be the only explanation. Well, we see Rodney Terry here coaching up a storm. We see Larry Shia coaching up a storm. You know what they have in common? Both men were assistants for Rick Barnes, the Texas coach. So Larry Shiat worked for Rick Barnes at Clemson, and Rodney Terry helped build the program at Texas with Rick Barnes, part of the Rick Barnes coaching tree. Five-point lead for Wyoming. Got to find a way to get Grabo some open shots, but let's give, give Guerrero credit. He's been there on the catch. Finding a way to get it done without Nance. And we've had Derek Cook blocking shots. Nobody thought he'd morph into Bill Walton with a backdoor pass. That's a two for Tyler Johnson. Look at Guerrero with the two. So he has eight points. Well, we know he can score. He had 39 points in a high school game. Had 24 points in a game when he was playing at Oklahoma State. Cook. A bump in the foul on Tanner Giddings. Well, Nance left the game with 17 points. Sobe now with 17 points. Sobe 10 of 10 from the line. So over half his points have come from the line, but nonetheless, a season high 17 for Sobe. And now Cook at the line. Notice that Coach Syatt changes his offensive free throw line positioning with a bad shooter at the line. He's now got Hankinson and Sobe in the offensive rebound. Cook at under 50% on the season. Now one of four from the line tonight. Around and out, he misses both. The lead stays at five for the Pokes with eight and a half minutes to go. Watson, his defender fell down, turns, missed the eight-footer. The rebound batted to Riley Grabo. Grabo just two points tonight, one of five from the field, 0 for three in three-point shooting. This is a guy who came in fourth in the nation in three-point percentage at 48%. And on a hot streak. In the last six games, he's shooting 64% from beyond the arc. Charles Hankerson, his first field goal of the game. Remember, we said that Hankerson. Guerrero foul. And he'll shoot two, but first a timeout. 7.52 left here in Laramie. Wyoming trying to find some answers with Nance injured. Hankerson trying to become an answer. This guy, Ford & Lincoln, is one of the only locally independently owned Ford & Lincoln dealers in the region. All of our employees are passionate about providing you with the best customer service possible and making you a customer for life. 
Most of our salespeople have been with us since the day we opened 17 years ago. We are open 24-7, 365 days a year at BigSkyFord.net and BigSkyLincoln.com. Big Sky Ford and Lincoln, where the sky is the limit with low prices, great service, every time for everyone. Oh, hey, Jim. It's my sister, Lisa. Mmm, so hot. Woo! Mmm, that is hot. Made with real cheese and premium cuts of meat. Hot Pocket! I do a lot of research on Angie's List before I do any projects on my home. I love my contractor, and I am so thankful to Angie's List for bringing us together. Find out why more than 2 million members count on Angie's List. Angie's List, reviews you can trust. This is one game you can't afford to miss. NCAA tournament, how far can this team go? We're trying to go all the way. So much talent in this conference. Unprecedented insight. Completely free coverage. 18 sports, 12 universities, one Mountain West network. Game on. Always on. Folks by seven, Charles Hankerson has spent a couple of years playing at the University of Alabama with a bucket a few moments ago. And time now for the Subaru all-wheel drive. And this drive by Hankerson, his first field goal tonight. Hankerson lowers that shoulder. It looks like a running back going in there, much like Marvell Harris from Fresno State. Big, strong body. You know, we talked about the relationship between Rick Barnes and these two head coaches. Relationships end up with players transferring, too. We have Alan Edwards, one of the assistants here at Wyoming, had worked for Anthony Grant at VCU. Anthony Grant's the head coach at Alabama. When Hankerson was looking for a place to transfer to, guess what? The relationship between Anthony and Alan helped Hankerson end up a Cowboy. Guerrero hits the free throw. Hankerson, who's from Miami, a high school teammate, of Jerron Granberry, both at Coral Reef High School. Of course, Granberry are transferred from North Florida. Isn't Miami a Laramie suburb? <laughs> Weather-wise, uh, I think it's a little windier here in Laramie. Woo, it was bad coming in today. Lead is six for the Pokes. Get the ball to Cook down low when both defenders go with the guard. That time, Edo stayed with him. The jumper missed off. They say off of Fresno State. It stays with Wyoming with 11 to shoot. Look for a zone here. Fresno State's like the zone. The baseline out of bounds place. And if it goes to the corner, it might be trapped. Nope, it stayed man. Hankerson. With the Euro step. They have traveled, but the call is a foul on Johnson, who's upset because he just picked up his fourth. So now what you got to do is Rodney Terry, you got to make a decision. Is your senior star smart enough to play with four fouls? Now what I would do is bring him out quickly. Even if he's good at playing in foul trouble, bring him out, set him, settle him down a little bit, and then put him back in. Fresno foul trouble. Johnson and Davis each half fours. Tyler Johnson to the bench. You have Guerrero, Harris, and Giddings all with three. Well, Davis having four. We call that standard operating procedure. Yes. But for Tyler Johnson, that's a guy who's not fouled out of a game this year. Second free throw, not there for Hankerson. The lead is seven for Wyoming. Fresno State had come back to tie this game. Wyoming has opened it back up to seven. Tough jumper kissed in by Marvell Harris. And staying in the press, trying to pick up the pace a little bit. And we have had a faster paced second half. We've already had as many points scored in the second half as were scored in the first half, and we've still got six minutes to go. That was a 25 23 Wyoming lead at the intermission by two. Sobe, Cook. Derek Cook finishing. Very nice play by Sobe. I like it when you reward the big fellow. The big fellow's been busting his rear end on the glass as a shot blocker. Share the sugar a little bit. First field goal tonight for Cook. Three launched. Watson off the back rim. And a rebound ripped down by Derek Cook. His seventh board tonight.
Cranberry. And that's going to go against Wyoming. Yeah, we got a foul there. Foul on Granbury on the dribble handoff. He slid his hip into the defensive player. Knows right where his teammate is and right back behind the back. Soby or Magic Johnson? That was a nifty play. Six minutes to go here in Laramie. Fresno State winners of five in a row. Trailing it by seven. And this is a Wyoming team that's difficult to play from behind against because they're very smart and know how to use the clock. They're very adept at score and clock situations. Driving, Sobe. We get Tanner Giddings. Sobe did a great job of coming off the screen, catching the ball, ripping through and going against the grain like a running back. This is number four on getting, so he and Johnson and Davis, all with four fouls for the Bulldogs. A little surprised that Coach Terry hasn't gone a little bit to the zone to protect those bigs inside, especially with the fact that Wyoming has not shot the ball very well. Today. 18 points for Sobe. Here comes Johnson back in. Now remember, in the case of Sobe, his career high is 22. So he's coming close to that. And again, picking up some of the slack, not just from Nance's departure, but even before that, the team wasn't playing well except for Sobe. Nine point lead, equaling the largest of the game for the Cowboys. Johnson going to the free throw line, shooting the one and one. He's an 82% free throw shooter. Very good player. See, what Sobe was trying to do was lock and trail, but you've got to bend your knees and get down by the man's hip. You can't have your four up holding. The lefty sinks the front end. 15 points for Tyler Johnson. You mentioned that Tyler Johnson had played at St. Francis High School south of San Francisco in the West Catholic League, a great high school basketball league. Gave you Aaron Gordon, for example, from Mitty, who's down in Arizona now. 5.20 to go, 54-47 Wyoming. Remember I was said in the open that one of the things that's been very good for Wyoming, they've been willing to stick to the game plan all the way through. That's part of the reason they've been a consistent team. Let's see if they can do that here and milk the clock. That's on Guerrero, and that's his fourth. Now this Saturday on Root Sports, it's the border war on the hard court as these Wyoming Cowboys travel to Fort Collins and take on Colorado State at four Mountain, three Pacific. Don't miss a minute of Mountain West hoops right here on Root Sports. Riley Graybo to the line, number 12 in America as a free throw shooter at 90%. Yeah, the top two free throw shooters in the conference on display here tonight. Rabo, as you mentioned, his numbers nationally leading the conference. And then on the other side for Fresno State, you have Guerrero, who's second in the conference. Free throw percentage at 87%. But Guerrero now one of four Bulldogs with four fouls. Amanda Uwatua not playing again tonight for Fresno State. Third straight game out with a right knee injury. And a foul is called on Hankerson. A push and Hankerson with that look like, what, who, me? Yeah, you can't be committing those. You're up by nine. You don't need silly fouls. We'll talk about the foul trouble, Mark. A big issue for Fresno State right now. You can't play for Fresno unless you have a number four next to your name. This is Harris at the line. Five to six tonight. One and one, and he misses the front end. Almost able to steal it away, though, on the rebound by Cook.
milk the clock here. They understand that the clock is in their favor. You don't have enough points to win the game yet, but you can grind out these possessions. Sobey stumbling in the lane and loses it. The sixth Wyoming turnover. Johnson collects, now drives baseline, a pull-up jumper, swish. Timeout, Fresno State. 18 points for Tyler Johnson playing with four fouls. And the lead down to seven for Wyoming with 4.11 to play. Johnson has the ability, he's a lefty, to drive it right and stop and pop. You know, even though he doesn't have great strong legs, he can stop and pop and get his legs underneath him. There he shoots the three. Spins back because he can get into the paint and get lift over the defender. Again, good legs in his jumper, a very consistent shot. Always the same, the mechanics are the same. And here we see him driving right. Stop and pop, a little bump, a little, little bump to get the defense off him. Not enough, though, not like the time before when he extended the arm completely. 7 of 13 from the field. He's hit two of four three-point attempts. And having to play carefully, especially on the defensive end for Rodney Terry because he has four fouls. As does Davis, who's in there with four. And a 1-2, one, 1-1, one, one, full court press, trapping the corner. Get it across in time by a couple of seconds. And attacking that press, take the ball in one way and out the other, like against any zone. Sobe. And Davis has just fouled out the tenth time this year he has fouled out of a game. Timeout, 3.47 to go. Wyoming leading Fresno State 56-49. They lived. They lived. They lived. We lived. Thanks to our Subaru. Love. It's what makes a Subaru a Subaru. Twelve years ago, we were cross-country runners. Before we were killed by a drunk driver. Maybe you remember us, the Wyoming 8. We were hoping our deaths might change things. But since then, over 600 other people in Wyoming have been killed by drunk drivers. When are you going to learn? Drunk driving kills. Stop driving drunk. It may be cold outside, but Colorado State basketball is heating things up inside Moby Arena. It's a new year and a new attitude at Moby Arena when your Colorado State Rams hit the hardwood. And you don't want to miss any of the action. Individual tickets are on sale now, as low as $10 a game, with great matchups against San Diego State, New Mexico, and UNLV. This is a season you don't want to miss. Absolutely! Mountain West Basketball on Root Sports is brought to you by Subaru. Love, it's what makes a Subaru a Subaru. And remember, buzz driving is drunk driving. If you've been drinking, use a designated driver or call for a cab. Don't drink and drive. Paid for by the Federal Highway Safety Funds. Back here in Larrabee at the Arena Auditorium, Mark Neely along with Dave Bullwinkle. Fresno State's five-game winning streak in jeopardy. They're down by seven with 3.47 to play. Alex Davis just fouling out with four points, four rebounds. What would we say, that's the tenth time this year? Tenth time he's fouled out of a game this season. And on a silly foul, 40 feet from the basket. I want to give love some people that don't, don't always get it in this game. The two assistant coaches for Fresno State, Byron Jones, for Wyoming, Allen Edwards, who were in charge of the preparation for each team. Normally, one assistant coach is charged of the preparation. 
the work these two men did breaking film down really shows up late in games, and we're going to have a lot of late game situations now. Well, Sobey misses his first free throw. He had hit 12 in a row tonight. Cook going out. Hankerson is in for Wyoming. See, with Davis fouling out, that means that... Wow, he missed them both after the, hitting 12 in a row. The Bulldogs have basically gone small, so Larry Shiat can do the same thing. Guerrero almost picked by Hankerson. A tough shot, reversing his foul. And the foul gives the Bulldogs a chance after the free throws to put the press on. Could have been a foul there. Might not have been a foul there. But we have the benefit of the replay. This, this we do. Eric Curry did not. Not until they get under two minutes, then they can look at it. First free throw for Guerrero. He's now four or five from the line at ten points. Look probably for that one, two, one, one full court zone press trapping the corners on the made free throw. Here comes the press. Stay out of the corners and off the sideline. You want to advance the ball up the low through the logo in the 10 second line. Adams underneath and put in by Sobey. Well, that's exactly the way you draw it up, but it worked well for Wyoming. So we get the inbounds play, the inbounds pass, which says stay out of the corner, stay off the sideline, because the defense can use the sideline as an extra defender or the baseline, and sometimes better be lucky than be good. Because Adams was fortunate there, and Sobey was Johnny on the spot in the right place for the layup. Puts them up seven again after the made free throws. This may be an offense-defense substitution. We may have uh, like a football game here with your own, you know, your, your different squads going in and out. So the numbers on Sobey: 21 points. Sobey. Came in averaging seven points. Young man from Australia, one of many good college players from Australia, not just in the United States, but specifically in this conference. If you look down at New Mexico with Hugh Greenwood and Cameron Berstow. Berstow could be the player of the year in the conference. Guerrero going right to the rim and laying it in. Quick points there for the Bulldogs. 13 for Guerrero, the lead is five. If you're the Cowboys, you have to make it a little more difficult. Kick ball brings it back in with another 10 seconds. By the way, Mark, this is a rule I don't like. In college, now you get a new 10 seconds to get, that penalizes good defense. It should be seven seconds now to get across a 10 second line, but they got 10. One thing Hankerson could not do in that instance was run the baseline like he could after a made free throw or bucket. Three minutes to go. A key point in college basketball is when you have enough points to win and you're playing against the clock instead of the opponent. Hankerson tip. Granberry no. If, they, if they'd made that basket, they might have been to that point on the clock, but they're not there yet. Johnson, blocking foul is called. That goes against Adams, his third. So the dribble drive, and definitely, no question about it, Adams is a good defender. But the impetus for that collision was caused by Adams. Harris. The towel held to his face and helped off, but going to take him to the end of the bench. So that's going to bring Karachi Edo back into the game. I think they're holding around the, the eye of Harris. This game, is, this game has become a war of attrition between injuries and foul outs. And Larry Nance, by the way, still laying back behind the Bench for Wyoming. He came out of the at the 14:51 mark of this second half. What looked to be a knee injury. And has the towel over his face. 
and the ice on the right knee. And Johnson with the free throws. It's a three-point game. And the senior makes big free throws when it counts. A little softer press now. Man-to-man -man looking to turn that dribbler. Two and a half minutes to play. They've whittled that nine-point lead down to just three. They being the Bulldogs. Cook defended by Edo. The handoff to Sobe with 11 to shoot. It's one thing to be patient, but they're being passive. Grabo driving. Sobe got it and won. What a night for Nathan Sobe. He has helped carry the load, especially since the departure of Nance. The man from down under, he plays like this. He may put the Bulldogs down under. The drive by Grabo. The little man with the offensive rebound, and now an old-fashioned three-point play opportunity. Nobody blocks him out, and he makes them pay. 24 points for Sobe. It's a career high. His previous career high was 22 against Air Force just about a year ago. Jumper, Johnson. And there is a rebound for Sobe. Under two minutes to go. Wyoming with the ball, and the lead is six. Now, a basket here, or a free throw made here, and they'll be in that position where they have control of the game. You need to push the action a little bit if you're the Bulldogs. But not now. You don't foul late in the shot clock. If you're going to foul, you foul early, not late. Shot clock down to five. Josh Adams lost it. Cook turns, shoots, tried to kiss it in, almost got that prayer to go. Now Fresno State needing the bucket down six. Guerrero ripped down by Granberry in a foul. That's on Watson. Well, it's never too early to buy your tickets to the 2014 Reese's Mountain West Basketball Championships. You can go online, visit the MW.com slash 2014 for ticket and team hotel information. Almost here. All right, now Fresno State is behind by six with a minute nine. That means basically that the Cowboys are in a position to win this game if, the, if they play smart down the stretch. They have enough points to win. Now this makes it a three-possession game. Taped up, Harris, the bump over that right eye comes back in. Ferdy Pacheco, the, fi the fight doctor there on the bench for the Bulldogs, getting Harris back in the ball game. People sometimes talk about, do you need a three or do you need a two in these situations? Right now, you don't need a three. A two does it for you. They're going to concede the two, drive the ball to the basket and score. Don't waste time trying to get a three. Johnson trying to get some space cleared, and the last thing Wyoming wanted to do right there was foul and stop the clock, and Hankerson picks up the personal, his third. So here we get a foul. Now, why is this foul committed? It's a foolish foul. You've got control of the game. Now you give the Bulldogs a chance to score with a clock stop and then put their press on. Johnson came in averaging a team-high 16 points, and with that free throw, he has 21. And a 6 of 7 from the line. And you'll see the press. You made a great point earlier, Mark, about made free throw, run the baseline. The inbound pass is to run the baseline to establish a better passing angle. Keep the ball out of the corners and off the sideline. Long, dangerous pass, but into the hands of Granberry. We're under a minute to go. You don't want to foul Grabo, but you have to. There was no question. You had to foul him, and Guerrero's out of the ballgame. Second time this year, Guerrero has fouled out. And he had no choice but to commit that foul. It had to be done. Second Bulldog to foul out. Davis was the first. Guerrero, though, 13 points, 11 in the second half. And let's give the young guys some credit here. You know, he had an issue in the first half. He kind of was barking in the huddle. He went to the locker room while play was still going on in the first half. Came out for the second half. Definitely seemed to keep his composure and added some important points for his team, though they are down here 63-57. Without his contribution, they wouldn't have come back in the second half and had a chance to win it. Again, 
makes either one of these free throws is a three point, uh, excuse me, a three possession game. You don't have to waste time. If the, if the differential is divisible by three, you need a three. If it's not, drive it, get the two, use a timeout, and play the extendo game. Drabo leads the conference in free throw shooting. He hits both. And the lead is eight, meaning what you just told us, Dave, you can take a two here, which Johnson goes to the rim and does so. And they're putting the press on in a hurry, and they foul in a hurry. Good, good job getting the foul on Hankerson, who's only a 66% free throw shooter. Now the road ahead is brought to you by Big Sky Ford in Lincoln, where we have a passion for service and making you a customer for life. Visit us at BigSkyFord.net. That game, the 5th of March at Utah State. Utah State struggling a little bit, but it has di Logan is a difficult place to play in the spectrum. That's what's ahead for the Bulldogs. Their five-game winning streak in jeopardy of ending here tonight. And they just lost Tyler Johnson, who fouled out of a game for the first time this year. 24 points for Johnson and seven rebounds. And he becomes the third Bulldog to foul out here late in this game. We said a war of attrition has really been that case. And Fresno State doesn't have a great deep bench, and they've lost some of their veteran players with Johnson having fouled out. Guerrero, although just a sophomore because he transferred, is a third-year sophomore, so he's got some minutes under his belt. Stays a two-possession game. With that first miss. Oh. And that makes it a three-possession game. No, not the foul. Better to give up a basket than commit.